Hi guys and welcome to another Empower Yourself video by Trill Vegan and Frodo. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is super sunny and really, really warm here in Brisbane and I'm off to Brisbane Vig Fest which we'll be going to in a little bit but I thought I'd make a quick video. As you know, as I've said before, I have been reading quite a bit of Russian literature, like Russian classical literature and I have read this one there's one book that I recently read and it kind of got me to thinking about some stuff and I wanted to share it with you so one of them it's gonna like sound really weird but I'll give you like a quick description of the book it is called Heart of the Dog <laughs> and it is basically a story of this stray dog that didn't you know didn't have a family just kind of lived, lived outside was a stray dog everyone like kind of neglected it and hated on it so then uh, one day the dog was struggling couldn't find food couldn't like do all these different things and then a man who was a professor uh, decided to adopt this dog and gave it give it home and basically that um, he was looking after it and you kind of a lot of the story is from words from the dog like from dog's point of view and then a lot of it is from just kind of description as an author describing what's happening in the book and after a while the professor does like the surgery on the dog where he transforms like a little bit of the brain from a dead person a person who just dies and it's gonna be really sound really weird but like the testicles of a male into the dog and he transports that little bit of brain into the dog's brain so like he pretty much swaps a couple of little things here and there and then the dog lives through the operation and it starts becoming a man and when you are um, watching this dog and this dog is describing you the situation of when the dog just just a dog in the beginning um, it is just it is really really grateful and it feels like it's on top of the moon over the moon that it is being adopted and it is now fed every day and the dog is really happy to be living with this professor but when the dog starts to become a human let's um, just pretend that that is possible but basically this dog has become a human it becomes like this really arrogant very cocky very demanding kind of person and I suppose someone wants like all these different things that are never you know just regular people don't know want and it's really rude and obnoxious and it drinks a lot and it's rude to women and all these different things and this dog like never has and this human with the heart of a dog like never has enough stuff like they always want like more money and they want more area of the apartment to live in and they want this beautiful woman and whatever whatever like all these different things and then it becomes to that point that the professor can no longer like it's just ran he's just ran down and he can't even take care of the dog and and even sustain because this dog like this human that he has created starts stealing from him and all these other things and um, eventually what he does is that he does a, another operation and this dog becomes goes back into being a dog so it, it's just a bit of a like Phoebe type story right a bit of fiction so, like even I don't know science fiction whatever but the idea is oh and at the end of the story the dog becomes a dog and again you hear the story from point of view of the dog and the dog is so happy and so grateful that the, he's adopted and that there's someone to look after him and he has roof over his head and he has food so it kind of got me to thinking that sometimes when we don't have much at all to begin with we're appreciative of every single little thing and we're so 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 grateful but when we get given all these incredible amazing things and we get used to them we start becoming something that we're we were not to begin with and we start expecting all these different things we start wanting all these different things and feel like there are requirements for basic human needs 
and we're kind of forgetting about the simple things that really are important and would make us happy without us needing you know to be like so big and obnoxious and crazy in the beginning we're just happy with you know having roof over our head having food on our table and having someone nice to look after us or talk to us or pet us or whatever but then when we become we start becoming these arrogant ego driven rude and over the top people we just kind of we forget where we came from we forget that this is not who we really are deep down and I think the empower yourself message for today is to keep remembering where you came from to remember that your basic needs are the ones that should be met and everything else is just on top of it fancy apartments insane cars um, crazy clothes uh, you know like a lot of people don't have these things and we're here obsessing that we don't have the latest iPad or iPhone or whatever just really appreciate what you have now and don't expect everything like be grateful if you are gifted enough to have these nice things in your life but don't devalue these simple things the basic human needs, the running fresh water, good food, and a nice, warm, comfy bed. Like everything else is just, you know, over the top. And as long as we, at least time to time, occasionally remind myself ourselves of this, we have a chance of remaining and being good human beings, really. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Hope it was a somewhat of an interesting story to you and empowering information for this video is I remember where I came from. I know I'm not perfect, but I appreciate every single gift I'm blessed with in this life. Lots of love to you guys and see you in another video. Bye.